we are back. And ladies and gentlemen, I think it is the reason why we are here, yeah. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now, <laughs> every time you see it, I'm just gonna be like, <sighs> the shirt. And, Super and Smash as you see Universe. in the background here, Jeremy came, he came with the Amiibos, he came with controllers. What didn't you came with, what didn't you come with? GameCube adapter and GameCube controllers. They're at home, but I still have them. Okay. This dude came in the studio with bags upon bags of stuff. It, Pandora's boxes, he pulled one thing after another. I mean, even like gold controllers and just... I have to be kind of impressed. I hate to say it, and it hurts me inside. I was, I am mildly impressed with, you got a hookup, man. Like, this is legit. This, like, wow. <laughs> um, mm. And yeah, and show me what is this. That, this right here, for, for anybody playing online, you can actually type out what you want to say. So, because you know, one thing your body might need to do some fast communication, and typing on the screen isn't as fun as it may seem. So, there you go. <laughs> and wireless controller right there. Let, let's, before we go, and we're, we're going to touch on Smash a bit because there's so much to go. You normally are not a Super Smash person. What made you want to get this game? So, full disclosure, the reason why I'm not a Super Smash player is because I got this game way back in the melee days. And I played it and played it and played it. In and the what days? The Smash, the Melee. GameCube. Okay, yeah, Game, GameCube. GameCube. Okay. Right. Loving it. Yeah, have a great time. And my sons, who were way younger, um, came over and we were having that father son bonding moment. I was like, hey, let's play this game. Knowing full and well that I was about to just work them like a job. And they beat me like I owed them money. And I mean, they didn't just beat me a little, they devastated me to the point where I was like, this game is stupid, I'm never playing it again. So I had an unnatural level of hatred for the game, not because it wasn't good, but because I sucked at it. So now, given a couple years, um, I remember the game was fun. I, I want to have, I want to be part of that fun again. I want to feel like that. I want to. I want to be able to have that community that's formed around this game. It, it's a great community. It's a, a nice and but competitive space. And I think for right now in the the fighting game genre, there's only a couple players, and some of them have been doing very well over the over the years. Um, some of them haven't aged very gracefully. Gracefully, others are are kind of muddling along. I think. Smash with the release of this game and what, how well they've done. I mean, this is the comeback. This is mm -hmm. this brings it back. Smash. We've followed this from the very beginning, from the first teaser announcement with the um, Splatoon characters, the Nintendo reaction from fans in the Nintendo New York store. We, you and I, have talked about this throughout. What makes Super Smash Brothers when they say ultimate? What makes it ultimate? And we are just going to very well talk about it. We have some gameplay footage, but Jeremy, what makes this the ultimate in your eyes? And where this was, we first it was kind of almost like, well, we're going to have everything that the Support. Wii U version <laughs> had, and then they started adding more. There's a lot of things that made this ultimate. I mean, for one thing, uh, as Reggie Pizza May himself have recently said, uh, dare he say that this is probably one of one of the most ambitious crossovers of all time. Now, yes, we have Infinity War, great crossover, but at the same time, this is the gaming version of that. This is not only, it's supposed to be all Nintendo, but lately, Smash didn't get their own memo, and they've been bridging <laughs> out of their Nintendo, and I'm just like, what was going on here? Because see, what makes this the Smash game is, it's actually so many levels. One, the characters. For one thing, when he said everyone is here, he really mean it. Go ahead one from the franchise. Hit start on your controller, and we're actually going to go into some gameplay while you're talking. Hit start on your controller, and Boom. let us... How many characters are in this game? At launch, there is a whopping 72... I mean, 74 characters at launch right now. 
So, and by the way, another reason why this is the ultimate Smash Bros. is because for the first time, let me go back right quick. For the first time, you can actually have custom settings saved. So I have settings saved for every situation. If I want to just play with Smash Balls, play with Pokemon, play one quick stock or just for fun, or if I want to do competitive uh, uh, Smash meters with no items, just all different settings and so on. But that's another reason why this is so great. Um, every character is here. I launched 74. Uh, every stage that pretty much I can remember is here. Not everyone, because Poker mm -hmm. didn't make it. But there is a whopping 103 stages. But you could turn, like for example, uh, this stage uh, right here has its own Balloon hazards fight. and so on and so forth. Okay. You could turn hazards off, which means that there's 103 stages, but there's a version of the stage without the hazards. So that means that that number doubled. But you can actually go ahead and change each stage to a battlefield mode, which means that each stage, again, doubled. And each stage even has a final destination mode. So yes, it's 103 stages, but there's basically just about almost four forms of each stage. So let's say, for example, I want to go ahead and pick a uh, nostalgia level here, Peach Castle, the original one. And then I want to go ahead and go to the new Peach Castle, because one of the new modes here is that you can actually seamlessly transition stages. So for me and my brother, we no longer have to fight who gets to pick the stage. He mm -hmm. can pick one, I can pick one. Imagine and a fight there at the there. Holder residence on <laughs> stage, and that would probably mm -hmm. be... That mm -hmm. roster's mm -hmm. so beautiful. Very um, vinegar and... Now, Sean, characters that you did not expect to be in Smash that came into Smash, uh, um, you know, a couple of whips, uh, the Belmonts. Oh. Who would have saw that one coming? By far, but I mean, adding in Castlevania, that mm -hmm. even the the who was the one that they just announced? Pre Joker from Persona Five, there. which has nothing to do with Nintendo. Uh, do they even have a Persona game on <laughs> Nintendo? I don't know. I've never even heard. Of it. I thought that was a PlayStation no, there was exclusive. A, yeah, yeah, PlayStation. I think there was one on the Game Boy or 3DS. Um, but it had nothing to do with Persona Five. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. I think what it, the thing is is that like Persona. I think it's all done by Atari or whatever it is, or Alter. It's uh, some Persona company. is Atlas. Um, uh, Atlas, Atlas is Sega. Atlas. Yeah. And Atlas is, I think, connected to Sega. Yes. In some way. So this mm -hmm. means that kind of. Joker's kind of like Sonic's buddy, mm -hmm. like how right, you got Ken. Now, let's talk about Ryu, Ken, Shadow Fighters. What is the Shadow Fighters? And we're going to say right now, as you look at Jeremy's screen, he's put in a lot of hours. He's unlocked. Um, you don't start off with all 74 characters. You, you start, start off, off with, with the, the basics. the exact eight characters you had on the Nintendo 64 version. The nostalgia blast there, for one. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. And then you slowly start unlocking them all. I mean, it's not like a long, long process. They, you, they continually feed you. But to go from 8 to 74, that's a big process. It is. So, in other words, you're going to continue to get characters, but at a pace where it's not too fast, but also where it's not like, okay, where's my character at? No, they, they, know, they got this down pack. In fact, there's so many different ways to unlock it. You could play Smash your way and progress your way. So, for example, you mm -hmm. like to play adventure mode. So I didn't even realize. I, me being the newbie I am, I was like, didn't even think about going into the even touching the smash button. I went straight to adventure mode. And never came out of it until it talking to you, and you made me feel guilty for not playing the smash mode. And so you I was know like, what's I funny that. is the, not funny, but the Wii U version did not have a single player like the Subspace Embassy, like the Wii version had. So there was no. Uh, single player adventure mode. This one brought it back and brought it back in a big way, but the mm -hmm. game is so vast that you could spend the adventure mode. Oh, yeah. You can jump right into multiplayer or you can take the um, you got listen to the music. Mode. Oh my, you got so many modes. You got modes on modes. And that's mm -hmm. another reason why this deserves the title ultimate. For one thing, they bring the entire cast, but every Smash game that comes out, you always like, oh, who's going to make the cut? Who's going to get cut? You know, uh, we lost. Pichu along the years, we lost Young Link along the years, we lost Roy, we lost Mewtwo, and some of these may have came back. We got Roy, we got Mewtwo back, but Pichu, Wolf, they was lost. Um, Snake, lost. But now they all got come back, which is no small task. People think, oh, you just brought them back. 
there's been a huge change in gameplay to the point where every single character, and you feel this, if you play Smash a lot, and even the last game, you know this isn't just a port because every single character got retouched, retooled, reworked. Uh, combos that I used to do with Mario in the last game, just go to the grab, push down, start doing tilts, uh, tilt attacks until they got rack up 40, 50 damage. You can't do that because now they changed it where his grab, when you throw it down, it actually launches them diagonal rather than up. My entire strategy gone with Mario. So I have to actually build up a whole new strategy just from one tweak. And there's plenty of tweaks just on Mario. That's not including the other characters. We know that that's not the link from the last game. That's the link from the blockbuster game, Breath of the Wild. So in other words, since he's from Breath of the Wild, which as you can see... Wow, yeah, go ahead and why don't you play a game with uh, Breath of the I'm Wild, Link. I'm looking for him. There he is. He's up there somewhere. Yeah, but go ahead. Let's, let's get into this as we're about ready different to... Different ones as well. But yeah, Breath of the Wild, Link. I'll go ahead and try him. Um, one thing about it, his gameplay changed because Breath of the Wild has changed. So in other words, he no longer have regular bombs. He have the bombs from the... Uh, the Shaky Shek Shek Slate. I can't say that right, but you know what I'm talking about. The Slate itself. <laughs> uh, he no longer has the grappling hook as well. And because of the fact that Breath of the Wild, you have an assortment of bows, some of them even do um, multi arrows, you actually can grab an arrow and actually shoot two arrows for the first time. They've, so see, yeah, they've added a lot. lot. And the Mario is now Mario, um, they have a, and I just fell out. Oh, I caught myself. Uh, they have Mario from Super Mario Odyssey, and I'm dead. Yep. So, Cappy makes a little cameo here, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, which is just amazing. Anybody who has this game, please get, select Mario and do a sideways talk. It is great. No! No! Now, we're, as we're wrapping up, we're going to leave with some gameplay footage as we're playing. Um, we're going to definitely... That stage transition. Okay, that's where you selected yep. the two stages. So okay. now we just and seamlessly did you put, switch from stage and to And did you put that on a timer? You can... You, uh, the, uh, again, another reason why this game is called Ultimate, the customization. You can choose whether you want it to be on a random timer after so long, minute, two minutes. Every single... It, it's, it, it's baffling just how much customization is in here. For example, uh, right now, King K. Rule has his special. All he has to do is just go ahead and uh, Which he just tap did, the B yeah. button, if he can pull it off. But you can actually have a special meter just like you would on Street Fighter. So mm -hmm. no longer do you have to hunt down the Smash Ball, because there are people complaining about the Smash Ball because they didn't have the skill to get it. But one thing about it, now they could just literally uh, attack or be attacked and use their Smash. Wow. He can play and talk and give instructions at the same time. Hey, it's Tom, win Tom? Without I, losing. Tom, I, I'm just I may like, need to smack you in the mouth right now, <laughs> so I need you to just go ahead and just let's keep it moving. We're going to sign moving. off, but before we do, him. thanks everyone for watching. We've had a great time getting back. To, oh, we're going to play just to get back to the Well, we're going to get back to the smashing. Uh, any I comment? <laughs> but yet we're here playing. Any comments, any questions as we go into uh, 2019, and we definitely will be back more consistently. We have a lot to cover. The band is back together. I want to thank our director behind the scenes, Taryn Singley, for mm -hmm. sitting there saying nothing and trying not to laugh as we banter back and forth. Now he, he cracks mm -hmm. a smile. Um, again, delve into the void on Facebook, delve into the void on YouTube. We look forward to hearing, re-engaging with the audience. Pop culture is fun and you like you said we're back we're ready to just play games watch movies read comic books enjoy so much out there and there's so, so much, much pop culture in, in everything mm -hmm. you know look at all the movies we haven't even scratched the surface of no. all the movies coming out gaming we haven't even touched about gaming or even this game there's just so much to go on uh comic books there's study going on and like you said carol mm -hmm. danvers is such a great character hey. Things she's done lately. We're in gonna comics. be back, and yeah. they can see us when we get back. Can y'all go ahead and hit this little A button right here? Yeah. When we start going back to the game, and y'all join us <laughs> when you get a chance. But we got I business to take care of. All right. Uh, signing off. Have a safe and happy new year. We'll see you in 2019. We're gonna get back to some gaming.
I, mean, I don't know why you want to play, you're going to get beat. By it. It's <laughs> kind of like, you know, you, you play, you, you know the Titanic is sinking, but we watched the movie anyway. We know we're going to get beat, but we're going to play the game anyway. I, I'm going to my trunk on you. I just want you to know when I leave here, trunk? I'm going to my trunk. <laughs>